Welcome back, TCW fans. I'm standing here with six foot nine Lance Hoyt, also known as the American Psycho. And fans, if you're not familiar with him, Lance multiple times has worn tag team gold around his waist, not only here in the United States, but Japan as well. But Lance, I've got to ask, you were suddenly a last minute addition to TCW this week, and no one knows why. No one needs to know why. I get off the plane from Japan Tuesday. I've got an email that says, show up in Arkansas. You've got a big task in front of you. I said, who is it? They said, it's Titan, seven foot two monster of a man. I said, you know what? I'm not afraid. The American psycho isn't afraid of anybody. The American psycho is gonna step up and take down the biggest, baddest man in all of TCW. Well, Lance, I've got to ask you, you suddenly find yourself in the shoes that normally your opponents are in, having to get ready to face a man much bigger than you. I can't imagine that's happened very often. I'm not scared. Are you scared? I won't be in the ring, thankfully. Well, you know what? I'm going to let you know something. Titan, you've never faced somebody like me. You've never stepped in the ring with somebody like me. You're usually the bigger guy, and tonight, it's still the same case. But tonight... I'm going to cut you down to size. I'm going to put in your heart what you've never had before, fear. The American psycho is coming for you. Somebody paid me to be here. I don't care who it is, and you don't need to know either. I'm Lance Hoyt. I'm the American psycho. I'm the one you should be afraid of. It's a battle of giants here in TCW, and it's happening right now. Let's go to the ring. His opponent's a monster, too. Yeah, no doubt about From it. Dallas, Texas, weighing 260 pounds, Lance. The American Psycho makes his way to TCW Wrestling. We heard comments from Lance Hoyt moments ago with Ken Resnick. And I tell you what, what a huge challenge for Titan this week on TCW. You know, I'm a fan of the Bradford family. I'm certainly in the corner of Titan this week. But you talked about, look at this, another case of an international wrestling superstar coming to TCW in the form of Lance Hoyt. He's wrestled all over the world. As Ken Resnick said, he's won championships all over the world. His first appearance in TCW wrestling, the American psycho, Lance Hoyt. I'm right, you talk about two gladiators. These two men are giants. And I tell you, how often is it that Lance Hoyt goes up against a man that's actually a little bit bigger than he is? He's six foot, nine inches tall. This is a huge match. And the quality of the match and the size of the two guys involved. Look at this. We're going to have a stare down to start this thing. Ooh, wow. I walked up. Ooh, wow. Forearm right there. He's going right to it, though. He's not going to back down. We've seen guys who have had to back down from Titan who have been scared of Titan. The American Psycho is not one of those guys. Well, I'm like you, Brandon Baxter. I will say that fear is not going to be a factor in this matchup as far as either of these two individuals are concerned. And Lance Hoyt has taken it right to the 7 foot 2 Giant. Going for the chokeslam this, already. Uh, he hits he's got to set up. Over the top Ooh. rope to the floor. Hoyt is down. Titan is a monster. Right there, Brandon Baxter, I think Titan simply was making a statement that he wants to dominate this match all the way through. And right now, he watch out, here he comes, right after oh. Lance Hoyt. Watch out, front row. Who paid Lance Hoyt to be here? That's a question we haven't, we don't have the answer to as of yet. And is he happy that he took this, this assignment, having to wrestle this monster Titan? There seems to be a lot of questions right now in TCW wrestling, Brandon Baxter. Who's in control, who has all the power right now, who's dominating? And that is Titan in this contest. And what are the changes that you speak of? This, the changes we hear everyone talking about. Uh, we heard earlier the Empire talking about great things to come in TCW. Those guys are in control. They have so much gold. Oh my gosh! His hands are the size of footballs. The Bradford family. There's some gold in that stable as well. That family unit. And they're looking to deal out some punishment to go along with championships courtesy of Titan right now against Lance Hoyt. We'll see the TCW Junior Heavyweight Championship defended. Kincaid in action. Still to come today plus the, the uh, main event, the hair match. Hair versus hair. The King Shane Williams against Dustin Heritage. But here comes Hoyt. The American Psycho fires away at this monster Titan. I don't know if we can even, this match is really already out of control. You got a guy, one guy seven foot two. 375 pounds, the opponent, no lightweight whatsoever when you're talking Lance Hoyt, 6'9", 260. 
And then on the outside, Boyd Bradford, the power that he has over these individuals. It's like a motley crew, a crew of oddities that he's put together in TCW Wrestling. Oh, I dare you to go down there, Brandon Baxter, and tell them that. I'm happy to stay at this distance at this point. That may be the smartest thing you'll ever do. Watch out. I don't want to walk up and talk to Tom at all. He's a kind-hearted soul. All these guys in the Bradford family are kind people. 375 pounds crushing the ribs of the American Psycho. Titan is going to pound away, going to punish this man. When you have two giants like this, it takes repeated sets of moves and punishment to really wear them down and get them where you want them to be. And look at this. This is nasty. A big knee, 375 pounds on the back and torquing the head and pulling the hair, I do believe, if we're watching the same monitor. Roosevelt in the background barking and panting. <laughs> Spit, you mentioned, well, I don't think there was a hair pull at all. These guys play clean. Oh, oh, head to the mat. These guys do play by the rules, and there wasn't hair pulling. But speaking of hair, there's not going to be any hair on Dustin Heritage's head after this week's main event. When he is bald, he will look just like you, Brandon Baxter. <laughs> is there something wrong with that? I don't think so. Have you looked in the mirror lately? I'm just going to say this. I don't know that Dustin Heritage made the best decision when he agreed to this hair versus hair match. We know how the Empire, how they operate. <laughs> they operate as a tandem, as a group. They're you never it. see them alone. They are what they say they are. They are an empire in professional wrestling and TCW wrestling today. And speaking of great factions, we are talking about another one, the Bradford family. Look at the support system. You have Boyd Bradford. You have the dog, the pet. The you have the dog. Roosevelt. You have the dog on the outside. The man with the breath of milk bones. Titan is setting him up. He is, he's stalking the American Psycho. How many guys can you yeah. say can stalk the American Psycho, Lance Hoyt? American Psycho is feeling it right now. Look at this. It's going to feel this choke slam momentarily from Titan. Wait Whoa. a minute. Here comes, here comes Hoyt. You have two giants. It looks like Titan's going to get the advantage, though. No. Wait a minute. He's got him hooked. That's, he's sent in a front face lock. Look at that. He's That's, got him. And he's got that bridged in. You know how a move like this feels, Brandon Baxter. He's cutting off that windpipe. You can't breathe. You can't suck in that air. He Your might oxygen. choke him out. Your oxygen goes away. He's looking for a tap out right here. Titan picks Hoyt up. That's a big man to Ooh. throw. Titan, though, on his way back out. Oh. Elbow. The ring moved on that. Out of the way. The Psycho, the American Psycho, back on Titan. Forearms to the face. Return of the blows right there. Seems like Brandon Baxter that that choke slam attempt may just have woken up the American Psycho who is trying to deal out the punishment to Titan right now. Boom! Ooh. That would knock most normal men off their feet these in seconds. Neither one of these two guys are normal men, Brandon Baxter. They're not you or I. They are giants. Oh, can, can he, he lift him? No, he can can't. Can he lift him up? No, he, he can't. He has him up on his shoulders. He has him up. He can't do it. I knew it. Into the corner, Titan throws the American Psycho Lance Hoyt. Hoyt caught in two boots to the face. That's to the middle the big rope. man. Here comes Hoyt. Cross body for a man six foot nine. One. Two. That's oh. all. Oh, man. Not all the way. Baxter a half a count away. Hoyt comes in. Boots to the face. Hoyt seems now to have had that second win and is taking control. Come on, Boyd. You got to get do something. Grab his leg. Climbing Whatever. back up. He's on the middle rope. The American Psycho is going to fly. Oh, splash. Come on, no. No. Oh, oh, my gosh. I thought he had him. I thought he beat the giant. Boyd Bradford is going to have to get some control. The strategy so far has worked at some points, but it's not working Wait right now. What's Bradford doing on the apron? Watch out for Roosevelt. Oh, my. Oh. They can't leave thank, it alone. Thank goodness the poor dog got away. I think Bradford was saying my leash is not working. And the poor dog got up there, just wanted to sniff the leg of Lance Hoyt. Look what happened. It was an accident, total accident. He has some hooks. And yeah. Down goes the American Psycho. One, two, three. That's it. Give an assist to Roosevelt and Boyd Bradford. Titan victorious under very questionable circumstances. Here is your winner. Titan! What a victory, Brandon Baxter, this week for the Bradford family, courtesy of the 7 foot 2 monster Titan. I don't like him. And a big win over an international superstar.
What is Roosevelt doing? He's circling. It's like he's circling the yard. <laughs> He's looking for the right spot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Can we get the camera to back up and not get the tight shot of Boyd Bradford? We could do it. Why not? Boyd Bradford's a lovely guy. You're just jealous.